two strands of barbed wire. Can't remember if it was in Memphis or Louisville. Do you remember that? And was it hard to work with not having three strands? Thanks, Memphis Mark. Mark, that missing one strand of barbed wire <laughs> messed me all up. I couldn't hardly concentrate <laughs> on the rest of the match, knowing that one strand of barbed wire was somehow missing off the ring. No, I don't remember that. Uh, but as far as fulfilling the the description of the match, you still had bar wear right around the match. And even though you only had two strands, you know, people could see the, the two strands. But no, it, it didn't bother me. Bar bar matches, to me, I didn't much like them because they're hard to work. And they're dangerous, especially I, I'm 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 nearsighted. I'm blind as a bat. So if I got close to that barbed wire, I would have to really, really watch. Plus, if your hands hit it at the wrong spot, you know, you could have all kind of holes in your hands, holes in your back. So I wasn't a fan of barbed wire matches, let me say that. How many did you have in your career? Well, I had one or two in Puerto Rico and I don't know, three or four in Memphis. That's about it. But did I, we, I didn't I, I didn't like them at all. How did uh how did they lay out the barbed wire in different territories? They just wrapped it around the ring. Yeah. They would put it up. A lot of times they would put it up outside the ropes, but you were kind of protected by the ropes. You know, you go into the ropes and, you know, you probably had that much room between the rope and the wire. So you had a little gill. Sometimes they took the whole ropes down and put new cables up and just wrapped it around, around the cables, which is very, very dangerous. No, uh, no terrible injuries well, to report then. Probably well, I got those. cut. I got cut a few times on the hands and you know the shoulder, and but what I worried most about that was the infection. You could get infection from that. You don't know where that barbed wire's been. It could lay in a barnyard for a year with all those cows walking around on it and chickens and no no telling what kind of bacteria was on it. So if you got <laughs> cut by it, it was you know you could get an infection. <laughs> Yeah. Are you are you telling me that Jerry Jarrett wouldn't spring for a fresh spool of barbed wire? He just rob oh, he it from would. the farm. No, he would. What I'm saying, but you don't know sometimes because yes. they would have to take that between the towns. I don't know. 